Ever wondered how you can transform your small urban space into a lush green garden? Well, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the art of designing a small space garden. Imagine the joy of watching your own plants grow, the aesthetic appeal it adds to your home, not to mention the improved air quality. Gardening isn't just about the plants, it's about creating your own personal sanctuary. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear plan on how to make the most of your small space and turn it into a green haven. The first step in our gardening journey is understanding your space. Envision your garden as an untouched canvas, ready for your creative imprint. The trick to metamorphosing this landscape into a lush haven resides in comprehending the area you possess. To start, let's examine the size. From a spacious backyard to a charming balcony, every space brims with unique potential. Each area, big or small, can be revolutionized into a verdant retreat with apt greenery and design. Next, sunlight exposure. Assess how much sunlight graces your space daily, as sunlight is vital for plant growth. Some flora thrive in abundant sun, while others favor shade. So monitor the path of the sun across your area. Then we delve into soil. Knowing your soil is akin to understanding your garden's essence. Each soil variation greatly influences the vitality of your greenery. Furthermore, your local climate is a defining factor in what can flourish in your garden. Each plant thrives in specific conditions, from succulents relishing arid climates to ferns reveling in temperate regions cool dampness. Familiarize yourself with your local weather to select adaptable plants. Remember, the goal is to cooperate with the space, not combat it. Every garden, regardless of size or location, is uniquely enchanting. It's about recognizing these elements and employing them to create a space that's visually delightful and environmentally in sync. An intimate understanding of your is the first vital step in creating your dream garden. So pause, scrutinize your space, sense its rhythm, and let nature steer your gardening journey. Now that we know our space, let's dive into planning the layout. Planning a garden isn't about stuffing as many plants as possible. It's about mindful planning and strategic placement. Consider each plant as an individual with unique needs. Some adore the sun, while others crave shade. Some need ample water, others are drought resistant. Group plants with similar needs to ease their care. Consider the height and spread of your plants. A skyscraping sunflower might overshadow your tiny pansies. Arrange taller plants at the back or center, with shorter ones in front or around them. This ensures each plant gets ample sunlight and creates a pleasing tiered effect. Now onto a concept that revolutionizes small gardens. Vertical gardening. View your garden as a three-dimensional canvas. Don't limit yourself to the ground. Explore the vertical space. Use trellises, hanging planters, wall-mounted pots, even ladders to elevate your garden. It's a brilliant way to optimize space and add a surprising element. But remember, layout planning isn't just about practicality. It's also a chance to express your artistry and individuality. Experiment with colors, shapes, and textures create patterns or themes, make it a space that elicits joy and tranquility. A well-planned layout not only ensures that your plants thrive, but also adds to the visual appeal of your garden. Our layout is ready, now comes the exciting part, choosing the plants. The key to selecting the right plants for your small space garden lies in understanding the conditions of your space. Remember, each space is unique, and so are the plants that can thrive in it. Whether it's a sunny balcony or a shady windowsill, there's a plant that's perfect for it. First off, let's talk about plant hardiness. This refers to a plant's ability to withstand cold temperatures. If your space is exposed to chilly winds or frost, opt for hardy plants like junipers or hollies. On the other hand, if your space is like a sun-soaked oasis, succulents or cacti might be the way to go. Next, consider the maintenance requirements of each plant. Some plants, like orchids or bonsai trees, can be quite finicky and require a lot of attention. If you're a busy bee, you might want to choose low-maintenance plants such as spider plants or snake plants. They're hardy, adaptable, and they won't mind if you forget to water them once in a while. Now, let's not forget about aesthetics. Aesthetic appeal is a major factor when choosing plants for your garden. Think about the colors, shapes, and sizes that will complement your space. Do you want a garden bursting with vibrant colors or a zen garden with serene green hues? You can even play around with the height of plants to create a sense of depth and interest. Lastly, consider the growth habits of the plants. Some plants grow vertically and can be used to cover a wall, while others spread out horizontally and can be used as ground cover. It's all about maximizing your space without overcrowding it. 
And there you have it. Selecting the right plants involves a careful balance of hardiness, maintenance, aesthetics, and growth habits. But the effort is well worth it. After all, a garden, no matter how small, is a reflection of the gardener's personality and creativity. Remember, the right plant in the right place makes all the difference. With the layout planned and plants selected, it's time to set up your garden. Let's kick off this exciting phase, shall we? First up is soil preparation. This is a step you can't afford to skip. Healthy soil equals healthy plants. Start by clearing the area of any debris or rocks. Next, enrich the soil with compost or organic matter. This will provide your plants with the nutrients they need to thrive. Once your soil is prepared, it's time to plant. There's a saying that goes, plant shallow, they'll surely wallow. Plant deep, they'll surely keep. The depth at which you plant is crucial. As a rule of thumb, most plants should be planted at the same depth they were growing in their pots, but do check the specific needs of your plants. After planting, give your new green friends a good drink. Watering is essential to help the plants establish, but remember, too much love can kill your plants. Overwatering is a common mistake, so be sure to water only when the soil feels dry to the touch. Next, mulching. Mulch helps retain moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. Spread a layer of mulch around your plants, but be careful not to pile it against the stems. This can cause rot and invite pests. Now let's talk about feeding your plants. A balanced plant food that contains all the essential nutrients is a good choice. Feed your plants every four to six weeks during the growing season for best results. Finally, consider some form of pest control. There are many natural and non-toxic options available, so you can protect both your plants and the environment. Remember, gardening is not a one-size-fits-all activity. It's about experimenting and learning what works best for your space and your plants. It's perfectly okay to make mistakes. That's how you grow both as a gardener and as a person. With your garden set up, you're well on your way to enjoying your green oasis. Take a moment to appreciate your hard work. You've created something beautiful, and that's something to be proud of. Happy gardening. A thriving garden is a well-maintained garden. These words ring true in every sense. Your garden's health and beauty rest largely on how you maintain it. So here are some essential maintenance tips to keep your small space garden in top shape. Firstly, watering. It's crucial, but its frequency varies. As a rule of thumb, water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Water deeply and less frequently to encourage root growth. Avoid watering the leaves to prevent diseases. Pruning is your next best friend. It's like giving your plants a little haircut. Pruning helps redirect energy to the parts of the plants that need it most. Make sure to use clean, sharp tools to avoid causing any damage. Pests can be a real nuisance, but don't be too quick to use chemical pesticides. Try natural methods first, like introducing beneficial insects or using homemade sprays. Remember, a healthy plant is the best defense against pests. Lastly, regular observation is key. Keep an eye out for any changes in your plants. Catching issues early can save a lot of time and effort later. To wrap it up, maintaining your garden requires dedication and love, but nothing beats the satisfaction of seeing your plants thrive. Remember, gardening is a journey. There will be challenges, but the rewards are definitely worth it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks.